if you guys are like me, you probably have started really embracing the Xbox Game Pass and as such been enjoying the benefits of the Xbox Play Anywhere initiative where a lot of your Xbox-based games are now available on PC. So I have two groups of friends. I have my console-based friends and I have my PC-based friends. I've really started using my Pro Control a lot on the computer to play games with my friends on the computer and I always have to bring down a USB cable and plug it in and it's not that it's a chore at all, there's USB ports on the front of the PC so it's not a big issue. However, I decided to pick this up and I wanted to show you guys this. This is the wireless adapter for Windows. There's not much to see here but I did not know this existed which is actually kind of funny. So I thought we'd do a really quick unboxing and a setup video just to show you guys how easy it is to use. So inside you get your adapter. Now this adapter will work with any Xbox One controller. It will not work with Xbox 360 controllers, and it says it'll support up to eight different players, which is kind of neat. Um, I don't really know any Xbox games that are going to require eight players on one screen, especially if it's a computer screen. But I could tell you that I could honestly see some benefit of this if you decide to use your computer on a TV. Although if that's the case, I think you would probably just want to use your console. I don't really know why you'd want to do that unless you have a really monstrous computer and you want to use your Xbox controllers for maybe non-Xbox games. I guess you could do that. Um, I did a video not too long ago about the um, PlayStation DualShock 4 controller and how to use that on your uh, computer you had to download the software and everything. This just works out of the box. So if you had a Pro controller or any kind of Xbox One controller and you just plug it into your computer via good old USB cable, you know, uh, just like this, right? Any USB cable, it'll just work. There's no setting anything up. There's no gimmicks or anything like that. Um, with this setup now, you don't need the wire anymore. And it's as simple as pressing the button on both the controller and on this box to uh, sync the two together. Now, the nice thing is they give you an extension cable. Uh, I don't know how long this is. I'm going to guess two feet maybe. So if you wanted to not have your um, uh, adapter sticking around at the back of your motherboard for any reason, whether you have a lot of other connectors there or you're like me and you have USB ports on the front but you don't want this giant thing sticking out, they do offer a nice little extender. Um, there are many different types of USB extenders. I guess this one's nice because it's got kind of more of like a, a clip to or not a clip, but kind of like more of a sleeve to it. So it kind of sits in and it, it kind of can just sit there. So I'm going to put this on top of my computer tower. I'm going to run this cable in the back. One last thing to note about this uh, kit is that it runs with USB 2.0 or 3.0. I don't think there's any advantage to either on this controller due to the low latency. But um, I will try them both and I'm going to stop the video here. And then we're going to jump over to a quick screenshot of my computer to show you guys what I'm seeing for the setup. And then we're going to game wirelessly. So let's check that out. Okay, so I'm going to now reach over here and plug this into the front of my computer. So I've got two USB ports in the front. I'm just going to plug it in. And it is now setting up the device, setting up Xbox ACC, super easy. And it is done and ready to go. Now on the front of the adapter, let's go back to... Uh, <laughs> there really wasn't much there to look at, was there? <laughs> let's go ahead and jump back now. All right, so I've plugged in the adapter, and right now there are no lights or anything on it. There's no indicator that anything is connected, and you'll notice that my Xbox One is off. I don't have that connection light. Um, according to the manual, let's see if we could do this live, it says push the button on the Xbox wireless adapter and then also push the controller bind button. And when you do so, the controller LED will blink slowly when not connected. Once connected, um, LEDs go solid. So we're going to go ahead and press this button now on the um, adapter. And I'm going to go ahead and press this button. Now you see it's blinking, right? Now I'm going to press the button on the top of my uh, controller. And we will see if they pair together. Do so I have to press and hold it? Push controller bind button. I did that. Let's press it again. Maybe it didn't recognize it. Controller blink slowly not connected. Once connected, both LEDs go solid. Uh, hello? I wonder if you have to press the Xbox button controller on the front. Oh, see it went off. I guess it didn't connect yet. Let's go ahead and press this and then this and see if that does anything. Although the manual didn't tell me to do that. 
How rude. There you go. And now you see, uh, you don't see it on my desktop, but it just popped up and it said we are now setting up an unknown device. Please wait. Xbox Elite Wireless Controller is now set up and ready to go. So uh, don't believe the user manual. I guess you need to actually hit this button first to turn on the controller, and then you hit this pairing button on the top. Now my controller is paired with my USB wireless stick. I don't need any more wires, which is really, really nice. Um, if I wanted to bring this controller back to my Xbox One X, obviously if I hit the wireless button now, it's going to connect to this thing and not the one downstairs. So I will have to repair it if I want to switch between the two units. Alternatively, if I use a connection uh, back into my Xbox One X, if I plug this into the controller and this back into the front of the console and hit that button, it will recalibrate for the Xbox One X. But all in all, I mean, it's nice. I think this was maybe $15 on Amazon. Uh, if you're like me and you like to game uh, a lot on your computer with a controller, this might be a good alternative unless you want to have a USB cord. Obviously, I'm still connected via my headphones, so I'm not completely wireless as of yet, but it's a good first step. So this is the, let's show you the box one more time. That's what you're getting right there, the uh, wireless adapter for Windows for your Xbox One X, or your Xbox One controllers does not work with Xbox 360. Thank you guys so much for watching. Hope this video helped anybody in case they were on the fence about this item. And until next time, I will see you guys on the other side.